Well, fall is here. Time to get your mind off of the warmth of summer and start thinking about the cold. But don't let that get you down. Just make the most of it, right? Well, this morning we've got Lee Abamonte who joins us with a look at the top five cold weather getaways. Lee, we certainly appreciate you joining us uh, this morning. A good morning to you. But let's get right down to the countdown. And we'll start off with number five. Tell us about Alberta, Canada. Well, Alberta, Canada is by far the best province in Canada. And it's one of the most beautiful places, literally, in not just North America, but in the world. It's a wonderful place to go if you want to get into some real adventure winter activities, like uh, obviously skiing and snowboarding, but you can also do stuff like heli snowshoeing, which I'm actually going up there to do in January. I can't wait. Wow, sounds like fun, no doubt. Well, you call number four uh, a, a, quote, gem of unspoiled grandeur. That would be Greenland. Yeah, Greenland's like that place on the map that you've been looking at for years, but you never actually thought that anybody goes there. And to be honest, not that many people do, but the people that do are in for a real treat. It is literally one of the most stunning places you can imagine. And it's difficult to get to. You have to go there through either Iceland or less frequent flights from Copenhagen. There's also some boats that go there. But I'm telling you, once you get there, it's really amazing, and uh, you'll never forget it. All right, place to add to my bucket list. All right, on to number three. What's so great about Norway? Well, Norway not only has some world-class skiing and all that stuff that goes along with an alpine country, but it also has some of the best hiking in the world, literally the most scenic places you can imagine. There's a place called Sherrod Bolton, which is like this big rock, like wedged in between two mountains that you can jump out onto. It's about a three-hour hike. It's absolutely amazing. And then another place called Prikestolen, which is another one of my favorite hikes in the world. And of course, it's a pretty cosmopolitan country, very beautiful, very efficient, very safe, all that stuff. It's one of the best places you can go to in Europe, for sure. Wow, we saw the great picture of you there standing on the rock. Well, coming in at number two is Switzerland. Yeah, Switzerland is, uh, of course, one of the most beautiful places in Europe. Uh, it's kind of a playground for the rich and famous. St. Moritz, uh, Davos, Zermatt, I mean, are some of the nicest places in the world that you can go to, some of the more expensive as well. But uh, Switzerland not only is an all-year uh, all destination, but it's a great place to go in the winter for skiing and just uh, hanging out and seeing kind of the European jet set in their natural environment, so to speak. And it's Switzerland. It's just gorgeous. You can't go wrong. Yeah, absolutely. Those pictures certainly are looking good there. And then number one, the cold weather getaway for us, New Zealand. Well, it's like that commercial, you want to get away? And uh, you really can't get further away than New Zealand, right? So New Zealand uh, is a couple different islands, and then the South Island is a wonderful place to go in the winter. Um, you can go down to a place called Queenstown, which is literally the adrenaline capital of the world, and you can do all kinds of amazing activities like skydiving and bungee jumping, but they also have the Remarkable Mountains. They're called the Remarkables, by the way. And uh, you can go down there and do skiing and snowboarding and all the usual winter activities, but then you can also you know, jump off stuff and uh, go uh, down the river in a, in a wetsuit in the middle of winter. It's pretty wild. So uh, it's just a great place to go. And it's not just the place where, uh, you know, Middle Earth is. It's an awesome place to go. Uh, <laughs> going down. <laughs> I love it. I love the, the countdown. It all certainly sound like some great destinations. Lee Abamonte, travel expert. We certainly appreciate you all for all the advice. And if you didn't know, he's the youngest American to visit every country in the world. So certainly someone to take advice from. Jen, we'll send it to you. Yes, I'm Greenland is now on my list, and I want to go visit the Remarkables just because I think that sounds cool down in New Zealand.